Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and welcome back to another Firewall Ultra news video. This one detailing updates 1.09 which is going to be coming later today and this one does indeed seem to be the biggest update that they've done so far and they've released the patch notes over on the Discord which you can see behind me and I'm about to start reading out those patch notes right now. So without further ado, let's jump right in to the comment here from first contact entertainment so it says attention firewall contractor we have excellent intel coming in from hq today that patch 1.09 is slated to release tomorrow morning at approximately 10 a.m pt so they posted this at 6 a.m my time which means they're eight hours behind me so that would have been 10 p.m california time so when they say tomorrow morning they, they mean the morning of the 28th so they're saying 10 a.m. PT, so that would be 6 p.m. my time. So that's coming today, basically, in less than six hours from when I'm recording this video. So, you know, I'll get to test it out tonight. This is our biggest one yet. Our maintenance window for deployment will start at approximately 10 a.m. PST and will end by approximately 10.30 a.m. Please make sure you finish any matches, exit to the hub, and close the app entirely prior to 10 a.m. And then below he says we are aware that many users have experienced a reset of their reputation level one or more times since launch this patch will provide safeguards against this issue from occurring in the future but we are also looking on a process to restore affected users lost reputation points so that players reputation levels will be reflective of all their accumulated progress to date please stay tuned for details to come and then we jump in to the patch notes for 1.09 themselves. They are added safeguards against conditions that could result in recess of user ranks and progress. This one was a very important one. The next one then is implemented idle detection and kick for AFK players in public game modes. Thank God AFK players are gonna be dealt with finally. Addressed issue where AI did not detect AFK players in Xfil. Temporarily limited the maximum squad size to three players for public Xfil to avoid an issue that will be fixed soon. So right now if you play public Xfil and you've got a squad of four players, something is broken there, it's not working. Uh, but if you do it with three players, apparently it works. So they're forcing you to do it with three players now to get it to work until a fix is uh, brought in. So next one is fixed a condition where some players would not see assignments. Fixed a bug where accepted assignments in progress would reset every 24 hours. So now you have as much time as you need to complete any assignment that you select. So there's no more time pressure basically, which is a, a welcome chain. PVE tuning and difficulty adjustments. Added the ability to cancel a matchmaking request from the home menu in the safe house implemented a momentary cooldown for processing cancellations of a matchmaking request, fixed a condition where the C4 clacker could disappear without detonating the C4. I wasn't even aware that was, a, that was a thing, but apparently it was. Fixed an issue where ADS appeared to be twisted sideways in third person for left-handed players. So that'll address some of the jank you might be seeing out there. Addressed an issue with the pose of the tar glasses in the tutorial. I don't even know what that means, I'm being honest. Corrected some hand poses on weapons to address some clipping issues. Addressed issues pertaining to hand guards and rail attachments on the XM or 90 and Stalker. So I assume that means the floating laser on the P90s will no longer be an issue. Uh, addressed some minor lod issues on some weapon attachments so lod is what load on detail or something like that so popping basically detail popping fixes for lod popping bad reflections and player collision on several maps added a user facing option to change the behavior of the quick swap button so this one is interesting we were just complaining about this last night in the podcast how we don't want it the circle button if you tap the circle button you bring out your knife we were thinking it'd be more useful if you could bring out like your handgun or a grenade or something uh, but now it seems you, you get an option to change that. So it's going to be interesting to see what the options are going to be there. Disabled the invite option from within a public lobby. So it seems once you're inside the lobby, you won't be able to invite people anymore. Maybe that was causing issues. Blood effects have been updated and added to projectiles. I don't really understand this, uh, what they mean by projectiles here. Blood effects have been updated and added to projectiles. Well, I'm listening. I'm all for more blood effects. Uh, I just don't know what the, proje the projectiles are, you know. I'm, Bullets are the only thing I can think of. 
skill descriptions have been updated. Additionally, you'll notice that we are temporarily limiting the squad size in public exfil games to a maximum of three players. We are aware of the issue preventing squads of four players from starting public exfil matches, but we're actively working to have the, that issue addressed very soon. So until that fix arrives, the mode will be greyed out if your squad is greater than three players. So there is quite a lot there. Um, probably some of the most important ones being the AFK, the rank recess, very important. Uh, luckily, I've avoided it myself, so it looks like I won't ever have to worry about rank resets. But some people out there are very, understandably, very upset about those resets. And fingers crossed they'll be able to reapply the losses that they suffered so that they won't have to, you know, just start from scratch again entirely i'm also really interested in the quick button yeah the user facing option to change the behavior of the quick swap button so yeah, i'm definitely looking forward to testing out update 1.09 tonight on the channel and hopefully we will notice a lot of these improvements and the game will just you know it's a step closer to getting the game where we need it to be and uh, it's not a bad step at all i don't think let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments below and before i go let me thank all my members who have helped me out by supporting this channel. They are the following. Muzz, Dead Eye Dan, Chopped PPE, Zero, Move Master, Mick, Alvo, World League, Commentator, Cat, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Pete Hawkins, Crum, Mr. 777, Superfly AF, Moonshot, Armstrong Million, Blister, AC6 the Mad Hatter, Past Leading Fox Jr., Horatio Ward, Durbin Brown, Prophecy777, Jason Ewan, Roy Schwartz, Mikey Moy, Danishing Act, Virtual Dan, SoxFan96, Wasman Days, Nate Diaz, Gino DeMarco, Piotrek F, We Have Always Lived in the Castle, Mary Cat, Tree Smoker, Shadow XJ, Diego Darko Vior, Shapeshifter, The Amorphous Gamecast, Vodka101, Jack Namau, Freps Nominal, Skeletor, Rudy Tay, Mr. Tortoise the Game Turtle, Infinity Lefty, and Edify Till I Die. Thank you very much for becoming members. If you would like to become a member and help support the channel too, you can hit the join button below this video and it will be greatly appreciated and you get perks and whatnot. That is it for this video, lads and ladies. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you out there in Firewall Ultra. Stay tuned. If you want more Firewall Ultra stuff, you know, this is the place to be. Until then, please stay nice and moist.